I will never have closure. I hate to say it, but I think closure is such an awful word. What does closure mean? Oh, I can, I can close those books now and I'm now happy now. No, no. You never have closure when you understand and learn what horrors you want your own personal family have gone through. I don't think I'll ever have closure. My name is Katie Haber, and I'm the proud owner of 20 70-year-old puppets that until recently were in an old box in a far-off country in Europe. In 1943, when my family was transported to the Theresian prison camp, my Aunt Trudy gave her neighbor, Mrs. Habra, all her family possessions for safekeeping, including Martin's 20 beloved puppets. It starts with Martin Zelenka, an eight-year-old boy from Prague and his cherished box of puppets. He was the son of Jewish parents Franta and Trudy Zelenka and lived on a cobblestone street in Old Town, Prague. All I know is I imagine Martin to be the love of my parents' life and the love of my aunt and uncle's life because he was their first and only child. I know that he was a much treasured child a very happy child because all the photographs I have of him are just how a child should be. In the apartment building where Martin grew up, his mother Trudy and next door neighbor Mrs. Habra forged a friendship that passed the test of time. And this friendship is how Katie Haber received a box of marionette puppets that were stowed away in a closet for seven decades. Growing up in England, I remember my parents spending endless hours trying to find out what happened to their family, but they never did. So, in 2008, I went to Prague on a journey of discovery. On that journey, Katie retraced the footsteps of her lost relatives. She visited their old neighborhood. She went to Theresien, to Auschwitz. She returned to the city, her parents fled and vowed never to return. And that's where she found what she was looking for. There's a picture of Trudy and Martin. Trudy is gazing somewhere off camera. Martin is sitting on his mother's lap, a precocious smile. For 70 years, nobody knew who this picture was of two nameless victims as it hung in the Jewish Museum in Theresien. That is, until Katie came along and identified her aunt and cousin. This identification that I did at the museum became huge, huge news, and yet it was in all magazines and newspaper articles that this Jewish woman from Hollywood had identified a photograph that had been unidentified for over 70 years. In 2008, when Pavel, Mrs. Habra's son, read about the identification in a local paper, he emailed Katie saying he had a box of memories that rightfully belonged to her. Weeks later, she received a box from Prague with 20 marionette puppets. You know, I don't know what I'm going to do with the puppets. I'm, I'm very, you know, I, I should, should give them to the Ellie Holocaust Museum, but um, at the moment I, I'm not willing to give them up. I just want to savor them. Thank you.